If risk is like a smoldering coal that may spark a fire at any moment, then insurance is our fire extinguisher. Protection is part of the development of life on this planet. God has provided protection to most things like fruits and vegetables with their cover. Man started protecting himself against nature. He made clothes for himself and created a house to protect his family and his household goods. Cultivation of crops and formation of society are consequences of development. He invented other utility items like umbrella, refrigerator, air conditioner, etc. to lead a comfortable life and thus created assets one after another. However, no one has control on Mother Nature and events such as floods, earthquake, tsunami not only cause loss of life but also cause immense damage to the assets and property. Insurance is a concept of sharing losses arising out of such instances by many. It provides financial protection against sudden and unforeseen losses. It helps the people and society to cope with risks in case of occurrence of a catastrophe by making good the insured losses and facilitates restoration of normalcy. There are a variety of risks in day-to-day -day life requiring insurance protection. Therefore, insurance is classified into life insurance for protecting life, fire insurance for protecting property, marine insurance for covering ships and shipment and transit of goods. All other forms come under miscellaneous insurance, that is, motor insurance, health insurance, crop insurance, engineering insurance, aviation insurance and liability insurance, etc. The Indian insurance sector was opened up for private players in the year 2000, aiming to increase competition and efficiency amongst players for the benefit of consumers. With a view to protecting the interests of insurance policy holders and as an impetus to growth of insurance, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority, IRDA, was set up in April 2000 as a statutory body for regulating the insurance market. IRDA has framed various regulations ranging from registration of insurance companies for carrying on insurance business, regulating insurance intermediaries to protecting the interests of policyholders. In an attempt to promote insurance coverage among economically vulnerable sections of society and encouraging participation of NGOs and SHGs, etc., at the grassroots level, IRDA has framed micro-insurance regulations. Micro-insurance regulations facilitate sale of both life and non-life micro-insurance policies under a single window system and encourage designing micro-insurance policies in vernacular language. The interests of senior citizens have been protected by increasing entry age limits to 65 years for taking health insurance and insurance companies are directed not to refuse their renewal except on grounds of fraud, misrepresentation, etc. There is no exit age under health insurance policies. Policyholders can avail of cashless facility in health insurance. IRDA has also introduced the portability feature in health insurance policies for facilitating customers who may wish to move from one insurer to another insurer without losing past policy credits for covering pre-existing diseases. Apart from this, to ensure consistency of interpretation of various common definitions and policy terms and conditions, IRDA has standardized definitions and issued health insurance regulations and guidelines. Today, with an efficient regulatory system, the insurance sector has grown by leaps and bounds, with many private and foreign companies investing in the insurance sector. The consumer needs to be aware about how to get protected through insurance, what insurance to purchase and where and how to purchase and what to do for availing the benefits under an insurance policy in case of a loss, where to report if he has a complaint, etc. To effectively address consumers' grievances, IRDA has launched a grievance call center, IGCC, that provides a toll-free number, 155255. This facility is available in eight languages, six days a week, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
this initiative has been a milestone for consumers or policyholders by IRDA. Another initiative of IRDA is the Integrated Grievance Management System, IGMS, which has been created as a central repository of industry-wide insurance grievance data. It provides online access to the policyholder to make a complaint and review the status. IGMS interfaces with the call center. IGMS has been designed to facilitate quick disposal of grievances. Through IGMS, IRDA monitors compliance of IRDA guidelines for grievance redressal by insurance companies. Some categories of complaints can be placed before the insurance ombudsman, which institution offers a quasi-judicial channel for dispute redressal. Through the system of ombudsman, complaints against insurance companies relating to settlement of claims, disputes regarding premium paid or payable, non-issuance of insurance documents after receipt of premium, etc., with respect to insurance policies taken in an individual capacity, can be resolved in cost-effective, efficient and impartial manner. The policy interventions in furtherance of policyholders' protection include issuance of guidelines on distance marketing of insurance products, guidelines for issuance of unit-linked insurance policies, development of product comparators using mobile technology, etc. To prevent mis-selling, IRDA made suitability analysis for the consumer at the point of sale, mandatory as part of the standard proposal form prescribed for life insurers. Further, an exclusive consumer education website as part of IRDA's education campaign efforts under its Bima Bemisal brand has been launched as a one-stop reference point for all the insurance-related information. This website creates awareness on how to buy insurance, whether it is life, health, motor, property or travel insurance, some do's and don'ts, and policyholders, rights as well as obligations, etc. The young corner of the website has a variety of games that enables the young ones as well public to understand insurance in a much more interactive and entertaining way. To promote the education campaign at grassroots level, IRDA supports consumer bodies for conducting of seminars on insurance and grievance redressal thereby not only educating the policyholders but also providing a platform for the consumer bodies and other insurance sector stakeholders to interact and participate in such seminars. Apart from this, IRDA itself conducts annual seminars and gives update on policyholders' protection initiatives and other relevant measures taken by IRDA. Besides traditional print and electronic media, Usage of alternative channels such as metro rail, internet and social media are being explored to bring consumer awareness. Insurance curriculum is being developed under school syllabus for introducing financial education from a young age. Having financial education as a part of school curriculum helps children in understanding the nuances of financial and risk management in day-to-day -day life. Policyholder protection is the prime mission of IRDA and all its activities revolve towards achieving this goal, ensuring a healthy all-round development of the insurance sector. A vibrant insurance sector is a hallmark of a developed economy. Remember, insurance awareness empowers the policyholder and brings efficiency in the services. IRDA, Aapki Suraksha Protecting Insured. Promoting Insurance.